Good morning. This is Mark Soderberg with ADM Investor Services with your Morning Egg Outlook for Tuesday, August 6th. Uh, prices are lower across the board here this morning, down about four to five in the corn at or near session lows, 18 to 20 lower in the soybeans, unable to build upon yesterday's key reversal date for the September contract. In the products, meal is uh, steady to about a buck lower, while uh, oil prices have plunged over a penny this morning with uh, the September contract now just violating the 40 cent uh, level. Uh, wheat prices are down about three to four cents as well. Uh, equity markets are starting to or trying to show some signs of uh, stabilizing here overnight with uh, S&P futures up uh, about three quarters of one percent. U.S. dollar is also higher, filling a gap on the charts from yesterday's uh, plunge. Funds yesterday, modest buyers in corn, beans, and meal pretty much flat in wheat while selling a couple thousand contracts in bean oil. Uh, open interest in in corn yesterday did plunge uh, about 20,000 contracts on indication that uh, yesterday's higher trade was a result uh, of fund short covering. Open interest also lower across uh, the soy complex as well. There were no major surprises with the crop conditions from yesterday. Corn ratings did uh, fall 1% to 67% good to excellent. That was in line with expectations. Ratings this year have uh, pretty much uh, been uh, straight line, the, the highest since uh, 2020. Uh, and I'm still the opinion that uh, current ratings would suggest an average U.S. corn yield of about 184 bushels an acre. That's above the USDA forecast of 181 in July. Uh, 46% of the uh, country's corn crop is in the dough stage, slightly above year ago and the historical average, while 7% of the crop is dented. Bean conditions in, uh, improved 1% to 68% good to excellent versus expectations for a 1% drop. Current ratings to me suggest a U.S. yield of just below 54 bushels per acre versus USDA estimate in July at 52. Uh, we'll be out later today with our official estimates for the USDA report next Monday. 59% uh, of the U.S. bean crop is setting pods. That's in line with year ago and the historical average. Winter wheat harvest is moving along kind of slowly now in the northwestern plains and the Pacific Northwest. As a whole, it's reached 88% uh, complete. Spring wheat ratings did hold steady at 74% good to excellent, while harvest is uh, at 6%, slightly below expectations here. U.S. weather will see uh, much above normal heat this week, suppressed to the deep south. They have some good rains across the north central Midwest uh, yesterday and of course heavy rains in the southeast with uh, tropical storm Debbie slowly sliding to the northeast along the Atlantic, co Atlantic coast. Uh, U.S. corn prices uh, really seem to be stuck going nowhere, probably be the case here until we get to Monday's USDA reports out of the way. Best chance for a rebound, I think, might come from uh, a lower than expected acreage number given the uh, record yields. It will almost be a certainty here with this year's crop. Brazil's second uh, corn harvest is almost over, starting to see uh, some lower production estimates come out of our, uh, excuse me, out of uh, Ukraine as well. Agriconsults lowered their production forecast 1.4 million metric tons to 26 million metric tons due to heat stress in July, and this comes in uh, below the USDA forecast of 27.7 in July. So, I mean, prices uh, uh, rebounded yesterday on uh, strong rumors that China has uh, an interest in booking some U.S. beans. So, we'll be watching the wire service uh, at 8 o'clock this morning to see confirmation of that. I think the weaker trade overnight result of the slightly better than expected crop conditions and non threatening uh, U.S. weather forecast. Brazil will We'll start planting their 2025 soybean crop next month. Current estimates do suggest acreage expansion this year, likely less than 1% following growth of 4.5% uh, last year and 6% the year before that. Obviously, the lower prices and lack of uh, profit potential uh, with prices holding near 10-year lows, just about the 10, just about the $10 figure uh, holding expansion back. Uh, thank you for listening, everyone. Have a wonderful day.